Hey Finksters! Now in this lecture we are going to discuss a certain kind of Unicode error that can be extremely frustrating if you do not know the reason behind the occurrence of this error. However, if you know the reason behind this then you will be able to solve it within a matter of seconds. Now let's have a look at this error first and let's try to understand when this error occurs. So let's say that I have my codex module and I'm trying to open a certain text file and within that file I want to write something. Now as you can see that I have mentioned the proper encoding here. I have used the proper module. I have also used the open method and then I have gone on to close the file as well. So where does the error occur? Now to understand that let's go ahead and execute this code. And there we go as you can see that we have a unicode error. So why is this error occurring? The reason behind the occurrence of this error lies at line number 3. Yes, this is where the error occurs. It occurs because Python is not able to grab this path. So we are trying to open a file by the name data.txt and this file is within this folder general and as you can see this file is here. So I'm trying to copy this path and trying to open up this file within my program. But Python is unable to grab this path and the major reason behind it is that Python is confusing this backslash. Actually Python is considering the first backslash or this backslash in the string as a special character and it is unable to understand that this is a unicode point for our path. It considers this as a special character and not a string that is contained within the path itself. So this is why it is unable to interpret the meaning of this entire string. Thus it is not able to grab the entire path. Hence it throws the error. Now there are three ways using which you can resolve this issue. The first fix is to duplicate the backslash. That means instead of using a single backslash, you can use couple of backslashes and that will help Python to understand, okay, this is not a special character, rather this is the path that I need to reach. If you are not comfortable with using double backslashes, then you can go ahead and use a forward slash. This will also work if you try to grab the path of your file. Finally, if you do not want to play around with the slashes, then you can use a simple prefix R before the path string and this will help you to avoid the error. So let's go ahead and find out how these techniques work. So our first technique was to use couple of backslashes. So let's do that. Let's insert another slash wherever we have a single backslash in our path. That's it. Now let's go ahead and execute this code. And there we go. As you can see that this code was executed without any error. Now let's see our file which is data.txt. And there we go. As you can see that we have the data written into our file as well. So this program now worked for us as soon as we rectified line number 3. Now there's another way to rectify this line or to tell Python that we want you to grab a certain path and that is to use forward slash instead of using a backward slash. So let's do that. And that's it. So now let's go ahead and once again execute our code. And there we go. As you can see, once again, we have successfully executed our code without the occurrence of any error. Now let's discuss the final method of resolving our problem and in this case we will not play around with any slash rather we will simply use a prefix r in front of our path string. So this tells python to simply grab the raw string that I am providing within the quotes. Hence now in this case python will not consider this as a special character rather it will consider this slash as a part of the path string itself. So that's it. Now let's go ahead. Uh, before we go ahead, let's make a few changes. Let's say one, two, three, four, five here so that we can visualize the changes in our data.txt file. Let's go ahead and execute our code now. 
okay our code was executed properly without any error now let's check our data.txt file and as you can see that the data was written onto our file properly so this means with the help of this prefix r we resolved our error now i hope that these three methods or approaches of avoiding the unicode error are clear if you have any doubts please mention them in the comments below i'll try my best to answer all your queries thank you